In this video, we look at the concept of combination of random variables, which is part of the AI HL only course in topic four, statistics and probability. Okay, this concept is all about combining, so adding and subtracting, two or more independent random variables to make a new random variable that represents the combination. And in this video, I'm going to go through two examples. Uh, they both come from the RV question bank. The first involve random variables that follow a normal distribution, and the second example of, are for random variables that follow a Poisson distribution. But before we get into those, let's just talk about the formulas given to us in the formula booklet. So there's two here involving the combinations of n independent random variables, so essentially two or more. So the first is for finding the expected value or the mean of the combination, and the second here is for is to find the variance of the combination. And I have another property here, it's not in the formula booklet, but it's a nice simple one to remember, is how do we find the combination of two random variables that follow a Poisson distribution? And essentially, it just involves adding the two lambdas together. But I'll talk about that further in the second example. Okay, let's look at this first example here. We have a car wash, and we are told that the time taken for a car to be cleaned can be modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 50 minutes and a standard deviation of 4.5 minutes. So this is just for one car. The average time is 50, but of course there's a little bit of variance depending on I guess the size of the car or how fast the cleaners uh, get through the car. So there's a little bit of variance here and that variance is represented by the standard deviation of 4.5 minutes. Now we are told that two cars come in and use the service, one after each other. And the question is, determine the probability that the total time taken to have both cars cleaned is 1.5 hours or less. So 1.5 hours in minutes is 90 minutes. So you would think, okay, it's probably a, probably a low probability because each car is 50 minutes. So therefore, you would expect the total time for two cars to be 100 minutes. Well, the way that we need to answer this question is to create a new random variable that represents the total time for two cars. We currently have a random variable for one car and the two key values here is a mean, a mu of 50 and a standard deviation of 4.5. But we can use our knowledge of combining random variables to create a new random variable and I have called that capital T. Okay, so let's look at the solution for this question. Okay, here we have it here. I'll just go through it at a high level, just touching on the main points. And then I recommend practicing some of these questions over in the RV question bank section, because they do get harder than this, but it's the overall concept that's important that I'm trying to talk through here. Okay, first things first, we need to assume that the two individual cars are independent of each other. So there's no sort of relationship. That's an important assumption when we're combining independent random variables. So I'm gonna create a new random variable here, T, which is equal to the times taken to clean each, uh, both of the two individual cars, the first car and the second car. And then we need to step through finding the expected value for the combination. The expected value is just equal to the mean, so we're just gonna add those two together. And then also we can find the variance. Just keep in mind here, our formula in the formula booklet is combining the variances, not the standard deviation. So we need to convert our standard deviation to a variance, which is pretty easy, we just square it. So that's this block of working here. I now get the variance of the combination, 40.5. I can take the square root and find the standard deviation of the combination. So now I have my two important values, my mean of my total time, 100, and my standard deviation of my total time, 6.364. And then from there, I can use my knowledge of normal distribution. And I won't go through this here. I'm going to assume that you know how to do this step of, of determining probabilities. But I can now actually answer this question because I have created a new random variable that represents the combination of the two individual uh, independent ra va random variables. And that's this final step here. Okay, so that's the first example for a for random variables that follow a normal distribution. Let's now look at a question for two random variables that follow a Poisson distribution. Okay, in this question here, we have two cafes, the Paris Cafe and the Sens Cafe. And the number of customers entering each cafe both follow a Poisson distribution and are independent of each other. So therefore they must be sort of um, uh, in separate locations and therefore the number of customers aren't related. 
Now, the important value here for the Paris Cafe is the lambda of 210, so the expected number of daily customers 210, and for the Sens Cafe is 295. And we are told here to let T be the total number of customers entering both cafes daily. So we need to create a new random variable and it will also follow a Poisson distribution that represents the total number of daily customers for both cafes combined. And then the second part here in part B, we then need to answer a probability question. Okay, let's have a look at the solution for this question. Okay, I have my two independent um, random variables here, x1 and x2. So x1 represents the daily number of customers for the Paris Cafe. And to read this, just to, just to recap your knowledge of Poisson distributions, x1 is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a lambda of 210. So lambda is the important value for a Poisson distribution. It is the expected number of events for a given uh, interval. In this case here, our interval is per day and our expected number of events is the customers and that is 210. And likewise for the Sens Cafe, it is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a lambda of 295. Now to combine those into a new random variable T that represents the total uh, daily customers for both cafes combined, we can use this property here. The sum of two independent Poisson random variables, we can just add the lambdas together. So 210 plus 295 is 505. So now T is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a lambda of 505. And what this number here means is the expected number of daily customers, if we look at both cafes combined, let's say I was a business that owned both, that number would be 505. We can then use this value to answer part B. Part B set asked to find the probability that the combined total number of customers for the two cafes on a particular day is less than 500. Well, we can recall our knowledge of Poisson distribution. I won't go through that. I'm going to assume that knowledge here. To answer this question, I'll use the Poisson CDF command and get my probability. Okay, that was an introduction to this concept. Both of these two examples were relatively easy. They're on the easier side. There are more difficult uh, questions over in the RV question banks, and I recommend going and practicing some of those questions. Okay, good luck.